Okay, for this calf bridge exercise, it's a great exercise for rebuilding some neural connection between the foot, the calf, the thigh, hamstring especially, glute, and then core stability. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna be in that hook line position, and we're gonna work. You might have to try a couple times to find the right distance from foot to hip. So here, far too close, be too easy to get up, not much activation there. Too far away, and we can hardly get our heels off the ground. It's gonna be a big part of this drill. So try a couple different distances where you're getting the most activation of this lower calf, okay? So what we do here, slight tuck of the pelvis, tucking that underneath us, the opposite of pulling it away, having a ton of space under our low back. One way to do this is think about closing that space under your low back and then holding it there. So keeping that low back kind of flat, just a slight tuck. Then from here, what we're gonna do is we're going to lift just the bottom part of our tailbone and, and uh, sacrum off the floor through, while pushing through this distal or furthest part of our foot. So our heels are gonna come off the ground, slight tuck, heels off the ground, and then we're pushing through the ball of our foot to get our pelvis just slightly off the ground. Okay, from here, what we wanna think about is not curling our toes into the ground. We don't wanna be up on our toes. We wanna be on evenly on that distal or fur, furthest part of the foot through here. Think about sliding your foot away from you, but the friction's keeping it to, to the ground from sliding. And we're gonna tuck and have our heels come as high as we can get them. Okay, from here, slight tuck, pushing with the feet towards the wall away from, from us, not curling the toes. They can be pressing into the ground, but not curling back towards us. That's gonna really help activate this furthest part of the calf and Achilles. So we're tucked, we're up, heels are as high as we can get them. We want this pelvis or our lower glutes just slightly off the ground. So we wanna get the heels as high as we can while keeping this just barely off the ground. And then from here, we're gonna lift one leg. You need to lift it out like this, or bring it in like this, doesn't matter. A little bit more difficult out here. And I want you to make sure you're keeping that heel as high as you can. Think about contracting through this lowest part of your calf, okay? If you're getting a lot of foot cramping, you might be curling or using too much of your toes. Again, toes should stay kind of flared. They can press down, but never curling in like that, okay? So give that a try. Try a couple of different foot positions to get the right uh, amount of pressure and contraction in that calf. And you should feel that posterior chain, hamstrings and glutes working pretty hard too. So again, a quick review. We're tucking our pelvis slightly. We're going to raise our heels and lift our lower sacrum off the ground. And then from here, heels as high as we can get them. Pelvis as low, but not on the ground as we can get it. And then again, flattening our feet, that lower uh, furthest part of our foot as we raise one foot like this, and then holding this for time, okay? You should feel posterior chain working pretty hard, calf working pretty hard. Give that a go.